morning guys today it is um i think it's wednesday is it wednesday it's wednesday may 19th and it's about 6 50 a.m we are getting ready to head over to the skyliner to go to hollywood studios today um i'm pretty excited i gotta try to get our rise of the resistance boarding pass in like eight minutes so <laughs> wish me luck on that one yeah, Zach and I are both decked out in our Star Wars gear. So I've got my little Star Wars shirt on. It's got Yoda. And I've got my Star Wars ears here. And let me see your shirt. Oh, wow. It's got Darth Vader and some Stormtroopers. I like it. All right, so I'll talk to you guys once we get to the park. Now I gotta find Zachary. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Good. <laughs> So we just got in the park. The first thing we're gonna do is get on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah, we're excited. I have no idea what this ride is gonna be like, but whatever. This is so cute. Pee Herman, Hulk Hogan. Ooh, this looks just like the Chinese theater like at, 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 in LA. Alright, so we just got off of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and that ride was actually so cute. Um, I had a lot of fun. I was not expecting it to be the kind of ride that it was, but I really enjoyed it. What did you think? It was alright. It wasn't. I wasn't expecting it to go that way either. Um, I figured it was just going to be like one of those simulation kind of rides but you're going through like on a track like how like little mermaid is yeah i was gonna be other things something like that but maybe like a little bit faster uh-huh um, yeah that was fun yeah 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 we really enjoyed that so now we're gonna take a look at the slinky dog situation hopefully i don't chicken out and i actually go on this one we'll see <laughs> uh, all right here we go so I goofed up and we totally should have just opened with Slinky because right now it's an 80 minute wait. So we're just gonna go into Toy Story Land, maybe look at Midway Mania. Well, for the record, um, I suggested that we go to Slinky first, but Ashley, being the resident Disney expert, is like, oh no, you don't know what you're talking about. I never said that. Anyways, look at how cute this entrance is. I love it. Aww. Kalyani would be freaking out right now. Kalyani would be freaking out right now. My cousin is not a fan of Woody and she would not be happy right here. But this is cute. Alright, so we're gonna go here to Toy Story Mania because it says it's only a five minute wait. And we like this one. Oh yeah. Okay, so the Alien Swirling Saucers has a five minute wait, so we're gonna go ahead and get on this. And this one is pretty much just like the Mater ride that we have over in Cars Land and California Adventure. But, yeah. And then we're gonna have to figure out something to eat, because there's not a lot of breakfast options in this park, but we'll figure something out, I think. Alrighty, so we just got off of the Alien Swirling Saucers. That one was fun, but we already knew it would be fun because it's just like Mater. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was cute though. So now we're maybe just gonna look up some other stuff to see what else we want to do. We have uh, some food that we're supposed to go get in like an hour. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around and enjoy this park. All right, so while we're waiting for our food to be ready, we are just kind of exploring around, looking for some photo pass spots. And right now we're headed into Galaxy's Edge. Their entrance is a lot different than ours in California, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So up until now, the weather has actually been pretty decent. Like I haven't felt really terrible or anything, but it feels so humid right today. And I think, what did you say? It was like 67% humidity? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's rough out. My hair is gonna be dead before the end of the day today, but oh well. <laughs> Notice me, Kylo. I wonder what color it is. Oh my God! It's like get out of here. All right, so we just got into ABC Commissary for our lunch, and um, I will go ahead and put the menu up here for you guys, in case you wanna check that out. So here is what we got. So I got this, um... Sorry, filling up water right now. So I got this buffalo uh, chicken grilled cheese. This looks bomb, and I got like a side salad. And Zach got this delicious looking shrimp curry. Like, look at that. That looks amazing. And then we also got some fries and a drink. And it comes with like this buffalo sauce, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip that. Mm. That's good. I like it. So I'm gonna do curry, a bit of shrimp, a vegetable, and some rice. I get a little bit of everything in there. Probably should cut the rice first, but whatever. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good. All right, so we just left lunch. Um, we're gonna go just walk around the park for a little bit and see if we can find some more photo pass spots. Um, there was one more in Galaxy's Edge that we didn't do yet, so we're gonna go ahead and try to see if uh, the photo pass photographer is still there. We're just gonna walk around and you know just look at the park and stuff. Yeah, this restaurant was actually really good. The ABC commissary, the curry was delicious. I made Zach trade me lunches halfway through because because I really Ashley just liked, wanted some of that curry. More than hers, so like, I did. I did. I didn't say that. Well, me being the great boyfriend I am, I was obligated to make my girlfriend happy. So here we are in Galaxy's Edge, and we're using the Disney Play app. So you pick if you're part of the Forced Order or part of the Resistance, and then you can do like these different tasks. Turn it over here towards me. So you just kind of go around the, the land, and you complete different tasks. So let's do the first one. What is that? That's this thing right here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so hack it. And then we just hacked into this thing, so now it's doing something. Alright, like cool. I, like I was taking a picture next to it and when the, the sound went off he jumped. <laughs> Okay, so Zach is gonna hack the antenna and see if it does anything. All right, so just made some noises. All right, let's see, this is kind of fun. So now you can also find these panels like all over the place by different doorways and stuff. And then if you scan them, they do something. I actually think that one's doing something. Babe, I think it's the one behind you. 
Oh, it's Chewbacca. You want to get out and see Chewbacca? Oh, I didn't do it. So another feature on this game, when you're walking around, you can find these boxes that have like these little logos on them, or like these little plaques, and then you scan them, and you have to try to like unlock or get whatever treasure is in is in the boxes, right? Yeah, it's all about cargo. There we go. This thing. It's a piece of a hyperdrive for a star to start to start. Now we're heading down here towards the Millennium Falcon, and Zach is gonna try to get uh, or try to hack into that. Woo! Yeah, we hacked it. Yep, we did that. We did that. All right, so we are making our way over towards. Um, like the uh, Tower of Terror area, there's like an ice cream shop over there. I can't remember what it's called, but there's an ice cream shop over there. We're gonna go check it out, see if we can get maybe like an ice cream cone or um, something like that. They had like a peanut butter milkshake that sounded really good, so we'll see if I if I decide to get a milkshake. But yeah, it is really, really humid today, and um, it just feels it just feels really, really rough. <laughs> I'm having a difficult time, but I'm powering through it because I'm just so, still so happy to be here. All right, here is the ice cream shop. It is Hollywood Scoops ice cream, and it is right in front of Tower of Terror. So we just got our ice cream. I got a scoop of mint chip, and then Zach got this chocolate peanut butter explosion shake that comes with chocolate cake. Look at this, this thing is gigantic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try my ice cream because I definitely need this. So here we go. It's good ice cream. Mm -hmm. Hits the spot. Swig at this first. How is that? That is rich. Is it good? It's pretty good. It looks really good. All right, so it is just past one o'clock. We got our Rise of the Resistance boarding passes, so yay. Um, I'm not feeling super great. Uh, I think it's just the heat and the humidity. It's starting to get to me. So we're gonna head back to the hotel and just take a little break for a little bit, and then um, we'll be back in the park. Um, in a while, in a couple hours probably, because we don't want to miss our boarding pass, and then we also want to try to get on Slinky, so um, that's just going to be the plan. Those two rides are the only things that we really are planning to do for the rest of the day. And then, of course, we'll do some shopping as well. So, yep, we're heading back right now to the room, so I can take a little break. Okay, guys, so we are now leaving the hotel and heading back over to Hollywood Studios. I got a little bit of a nap in. It felt good to just sit in the AC. It's really humid today. But yeah, we're heading back over and we're gonna maybe get on Slinky if we can fit that in before our Rise of the Resistance um, like boarding group is up. Yeah. Here we go. All right, we just got back in Hollywood Studios and look who we see. It is Donald. Remember when Donald snapped his fingers on me? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Okay, so now we're heading back over to Galaxy's Edge. We're gonna go through a couple of the stores there maybe, um, cause we got some time to kill. We're not gonna do Slinky just yet cause our boarding pass is in about 90 minutes and the Slinky wait time is about 70 minutes so we just don't wanna risk being late for our boarding pass. So we're gonna head back over to um, Galaxy's Edge now and probably just hang out there until we have to go on Rise of the Resistance. Let's see what all right, so we just got in line for Rise of the Resistance. Our boarding pass just got called. Um, I have no idea how long this wait is gonna be, but we've already done this ride over in um, Disneyland and we know we like it. I freak out a little bit when it goes down, but it's okay, I'll survive. Uh, so yeah, we're excited to be able to do this ride on this coast. All right, so we just got off of Rise of the Resistance. Um, the only thing I was kind of 
sad about was we missed that whole first part, uh, which is kind of, you, you kind of need that part to like understand the story behind the ride. Yeah, but it was still fun. Um, so we just ordered some food from Docking Bay 7. I'll go ahead and put their menu here for you guys. So we're just waiting for like 10 minutes until we can go get our food. Um, and then we're gonna eat, chill for a little bit, and then maybe we'll go check out Slinky. I think it's about an hour wait right now, so um, I don't really think it's gonna go up from there. It's been a, it's been about an hour for the last couple hours now. So um, yeah, having fun. Yeah, yeah. We've been spending a lot of time in Galaxy's Edge because this is like this is our one of our favorite hangouts in Disneyland too. Uh, just because it's the newest thing and Zach loves Star Wars. So yeah, we're, we're really happy to be back in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so I just picked up the food. This is the beef, beef dish that Zach got. And you can pick up a side and he got a side of pasta. And then for mine, I got the fried chicken. I got the side of mac and cheese and apparently it comes with some broccoli as well. So I'm excited. And then there is the drink. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's try this. Piece. She's like, thank you. And then I showed the guy like my arm because the band-aid came off on the ride. Rock and roller coaster. Nope. Whatever that one is. Beef is pretty tender. Yeah. It's not good flavor. I'm still not sure what this is up top. I think it's like some kind of slob. But it tastes decent. But yeah. This is, a good and this is like a huge chunk of chicken. Is it like all white meat or anything like that? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I'm gonna try. It's pretty good. It's just like your standard fried chicken. It's decent. No lemon herbs and spices? No, no lemon herbs and spices. It's a little bit on the bland side, but it's pretty good. I think maybe the barbecue sauce will make it better. And I got some broccoli. It's like I walked from Tower Terror area over to the front where the explanation is. And the mac and cheese. Melania Falcon! Alright, so we just got off of the Millennium Falcon. It was really fun. I was a gunner. That's the second time we've been on this ride and that's the second time I've been a gunner. So I wanted to oh, be well. the gunner, but Ashley refused to be pilot because she didn't want the responsibility, so I had to be pilot. Yeah. And now we're just in some gift shops looking around um, before we head on out of here. And Zach already found something. What'd you find? Okay, so I'm gonna quiz you. The shield. Who is that? I don't know. Oh, this it's okay, okay. The shield. That would be Captain America. The hammer. Thor. The suit. Iron Man? The strength. Oh, the Hulk. There you go. Duh. The Earth's hero. Their logos are even right here. Oh my god, I'm yeah. such an idiot. I'm gonna walk away. Oh, I found some Star Wars yeah. stuff. What are these? I'm not sure what these are, but they're $3.99. I think these might be. These look like lightsaber crystals. I'm not sure what they. I'm not even sure what they are. This is kind of a cool cup. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Like these are these are supposed to be uh, Tie Fighters. Oh, nice! Look at this girl goo rice crispy tree. He's so cute. It's so. Long. He's so cute. It's so long. God. So I have not seen this one before, this R2-D2 spirit jersey, and it is, uh, what does that say? $69.99. I found all the Grogu stuff. Look at how cute. 
Oh my gosh, Grogu leggings? These are cute. Oh, they're like sweatpants. It says the child. We've got Grogu down the side. These are cute. And they're $39.99. I really like those. I like this baseball hat. I don't wear baseball hats, but if I did, I would want this one. And this one is $27.99. Naps and snacks. This is totally me. How much is this? $36.99. I really like this one. This is so cute. Get your Starbucks. All right, so I got my first Starbucks of the drink finally, and it's like halfway gone almost. And Zach just got a Jack Jack Num Num cookie. Can't really see it in there, I don't think. But where are you headed? I don't know. Headed into Toy Story Land. Let's go over here for a second and sit so we can get that cookie. All right, so here is the Jack Jack Num Num cookie. Look at how like large this thing is. It is large. It's a thick boy. And in charge. And it's like full of fudge. They have this at California Adventure over by the Incredicoaster and they're super, super good, but they're super rich as well. Like yeah. it's, it's kind of hard to eat one whole thing by yourself. But I'm gonna do it. No, you're gonna share. Oh, um, I have to share. Yeah, sharing is caring, silly. Yeah, like look at that. Look at all that chocolate in there. Wow. How is it? Good. Is Great. it just like the one on DCA? Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna give them a chance to eat some of this cookie and then we're gonna go through a couple more shops and then head back to the hotel. We've been standing here for five hours. Ashley's trying to pick out wishables. And she's just, we've been here for two and a half days. Someone come rescue me. Send a private jet to Florida and take me back to California. By the time I get back home, Ashley may be halfway done looking through the wishables. All right, so we are just now leaving Hollywood Studios. It was a really fun day. Um, I do feel a little bit sad that we didn't get to go on Slinky. That's partially my fault because I kind of chickened out last minute. But overall, we had fun. Um, we're going to get in line for the Skyliner now to get back to the hotel. And the Skyliner queue is super, super long. So it might be a little bit of a wait, but that's okay. That's kind of to be expected since we're leaving at Park Close. Park Close is at 8 o'clock and it's now 8 o'clock exactly. So yeah. All right guys, well that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Hollywood Studios day. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of this little Disney YouTube family. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you guys tomorrow back at Epcot. Bye.